Now that we've looked at the substitution reactions, let's examine elimination reactions. Just like the substitution reactions, there are two different types of elimination reactions. E2 and E1. In E2, these are designated 2 because they are biomolecular. In other words, the slow rate determining step has two molecules involved. Specifically, the two molecules involved are the alkyl halide and a base. In a typical E2 elimination reaction, the base will donate a pair of electrons to one of the hydrogens on what's known as a beta carbon. The beta carbon is one of the carbons next to the carbon bonded to the halogen. At the same time that that pair of electrons is being donated to a hydrogen on the beta carbon, the pair of electrons from that hydrogen will be donated to form a double bond between the alpha and beta carbons. Simultaneously, the pair of electrons in the bond between the carbon and the leaving group will be donated to the leaving group. The result is an alkene and water and in this case a bromide ion as the leaving group. In an E1 elimination reaction, the slow rate determining step is unimolecular. In other words, there's only one molecule involved in the rate determining step. That molecule is the alkyl halide. In a typical E1 reaction, the sigma electrons in the carbon halogen bond are donated to the halogen leaving group. This produces a carbocation and the leaving group anion. In the second, faster step, one of the hydrogens on a beta carbon will donate its pair of electrons to form a double bond between the alpha and beta carbons. At the same time, a pair of electrons on a nucleophile will be donated to that hydrogen and will form a bond between the nucleophile and that hydrogen that was on the beta carbon. As a result, we get an alkene and a hydronium ion. When we have this second step where a hydrogen is lost from one of the beta carbons, we can ask the question which carbon, which beta carbon, will lose a hydrogen? We have a rule named as Zaitsev's rule. This rule says that in elimination reactions, the beta carbon with the fewest hydrogens will lose the hydrogen atom. This will also form the more stable alkene. Another way of looking at Zaitsev's rule is that the poor get poorer. Whichever carbon has a fewer hydrogens will lose one of those hydrogens. In terms of the rates of E elimination reactions, formation of E configuration alkenes will be faster and preferred over alkenes that have a Z configuration. A second factor that affects the rates of elimination reactions is that tertiary alkyl halides will be faster than secondary alkyl halides, which will also be faster than primary alkyl halides. And as with the SN1 reactions, the primary alkyl halides are so slow that they have essentially no E1 or E2 reactions.